throughout the world since time immemorial people have always been in never ending quest to know the supreme truth and they have been following diverse path to attain the same though these path may seem different they all lead the people to the same destination the vedic tradition which is known as the sanatan dharma is a way of life entirely based on the universal truth that there is one ultimate reality the brahma the supreme and all the embodied soul are but the different aspects of the same reality the vedic scripture impart this eternal wisdom to us after obtaining which an individual attains the state of transcendental bliss where his mind becomes calm and composed and remain equipoised in all situation pleasure and pain no longer affects him for he has realized his true self and has attained the state of oneness with the supreme as well as with the rest of the creation the bhagavad gita is the transcendental exposition on this universal truth unrevealed by the lord himself in the dwapar yug it is known as the song of the supreme which encompasses the essence of the vedic scripture this immortal wisdom comprises 18 chapter and features in the bhishma parva of the great epic the mahabharat which was compiled by the legendary sage vedvyas about 5000 years ago on the battlefield of kurukshetra when the great war between pandavas and kauravas the cousin turned swan enemies was about to begin two colossal battalion of armies consisting of 39 lakh 36600 soldiers stood facing each other seeing his own cousins and relatives on the other side of the battlefield arjun was bewildered he was overwhelmed with anguish for he didn't want to kill his own kinsmen he wondered what benefit he would attain by gaining victory after killing his own kinsmen nevertheless the war was unavoidable finding no other means to take control of the situation arjun decided to surrender himself to shri krishna the god incarnate who being his cousin and a close friend took on the role of a charioter out of his own sweet will hence he bowed to lord krishna in reverence and requested him to show him the right course of action seeing his cousin in trouble the lord began his discourse on the philosophy of life enlightening arjun on the duties of a warrior which is to fight in order to uphold the righteousness on the earth and advised him to perform his duties with utmost devotion without any attachment to the fruit of its action the lord then revealed to him the three important parts to attain self realization karma yoga the part of action bhakti yoga the part of devotion and gnan yoga the part of knowledge hence the gita is considered the book of self realization as it has the power to remove all enigmas of life by destroying the darkness of ignorance in man who is veiled by the illusion of the material world for only when this darkness of ignorance is removed man realizes his true self and attains liberalization from the endless cycles of birth and death so thank you friends so thank you friends um, uh, or thank you for watching this video aur ye video आप अपने फ्रेंड्स रिलेटिव्स तक शेयर कर दीजिए और उनको भी बताइए कि आज का दिन मार्ग सरसुद एकादशी यानी कि हमारी जो रिलीजियस बुक ओके यानी पूरे विश्व की जो माँ है ओके जो श्रीमद भगवद गीता इट इज़ नोन एज द रिलीजियस बुक ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड ओके एच जी वेल्स ने कहा है कि पूरे विश्व का जो कोई धर्म ग्रंथ हो सकता है तो वो केवल श्रीमद भगवद गीता ही हो सकता है ओके फ्रेंड्स तो थैंक यू फ्रेंड्स most welcome for most welcome for watching my videos और आगे भी अगर मेरे से हो सके तो मैं 
स्केच बनाता रहूँगा ये वाइट बोर्ड पर बनाता रहूँगा थैंक यू फ्रेंड्स ऑल द बेस्ट और हमारे जीवन में अच्छे से संस्कार सिंचन हो और हम उसके प्रति प्रयत्न करें ऐसे ही भगवान से आज के शुभ दिन तक प्रार्थना थैंक यू फ्रेंड्स